Astronomers and scientists have long been fascinated with the possibility of finding a planet that could support life beyond Earth. In recent years, with the help of advanced technology and telescopes, researchers have been able to discover many exoplanets orbiting stars outside our solar system. However, the search for a habitable planet, one that could support life as we know it, has been a challenging one. Scientists have had to look for planets that have the right conditions, such as being in the Goldilocks zone of their star, where it is not too hot or too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface. Welcome back to yet another episode of Planetarium, where we discuss space chronicles beyond Earth. Despite the discovery of numerous exoplanets within the habitable zone, there are only a few that have emerged as promising candidates for habitability, Kepler 22b and Proxima b. In this video, we'll discuss Kepler 22b and its habitable atmosphere. Kepler 22b, an exoplanet located in the Cygnus constellation, gained widespread attention for its potential to be habitable for humans. The planet orbits a G-class yellow dwarf star that is older and fainter than our Sun and is situated roughly 600 light years from Earth. In 2011, the Kepler Space Telescope detected the presence of Kepler 22b while conducting a search for exoplanets. The planet orbits around its host star, Kepler 22, a G-type star that is approximately 4 billion years old and has a surface temperature of 5,245 degrees Celsius. Kepler 22b has an orbital period of 290 days and an inclination of 90 degrees. When observed from Earth, the planet passes in front of its host star in what is known as transit. Kepler 22b has been classified as a water world and has been compared to Gliese 1214b, another exoplanet that is rich in water. The key difference between these two planets is that Kepler 22b is located within the habitable zone of its star, while Gliese 1214b is not. The most intriguing aspect of Kepler 22b is that it was the first exoplanet discovered within the habitable zone of a star. As a result of its potential for habitability, scientists have begun searching for signs of life on this planet. However, the efficiency of the search could be improved with the use of more powerful telescopes. Despite this, there is still debate surrounding how habitable Kepler 22b truly is. A region around a star is considered habitable if liquid water is present rather than in its frozen or vaporized forms. This region is often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, as it is not too hot or too cold for water to exist in a liquid state. However, one member of the Kepler team holds a different view. According to this individual, a planet that is almost twice the size of Earth may not be capable of supporting life on its surface. Instead, it is possible that the environment on Kepler 22b is more akin to that of Neptune, with a rocky surface and large oceans. During an interview with the Associated Press, Kepler's deputy science chief, Natalie Batalha, expressed that the existence of life in such an ocean is not impossible. The Kepler 22b has been the subject of scientific research since 2012, resulting in several scientific papers. In 2015, an abstract presented at the European Planetary Science Congress investigated the variability of the energy emitted by Kepler 22b's host star. Additionally, in 2016, an abstract presented at the American Astronomical Society meeting demonstrated the results of simulations involving exomoons in the system. Although a search for exomoons around Kepler 22b was conducted, no evidence of their existence was discovered. The results of this research were published in the Astrophysical Journal in 2013. Despite the limited data available on Kepler 22b, many scientists speculate that it may be capable of sustaining life due to its oceanic nature. The planet's average distance from its host star is approximately 15% less than Earth's distance from the Sun, resulting in a luminosity about 25% less than that of the Sun. This suggests that the planet could potentially have a moderate surface temperature, assuming it does not experience extreme greenhouse heating. However, if Kepler 22b moves in a highly elliptical orbit, the surface temperature variance may be significant. Climate is a crucial factor in determining a planet's habitability, and based on observations and studies of Kepler 22b, scientists have made predictions regarding its potential surface conditions. If Kepler 22b lacks an atmosphere, its equilibrium temperature would be roughly minus 11 degrees Celsius, 
whereas Earth has an equilibrium temperature of approximately minus 18 degrees Celsius. If the planet's atmosphere produces a greenhouse effect similar to the Earth's, temperatures could reach up to 22 degrees Celsius. However, if the greenhouse effect is more like Venus, the average surface temperature would be approximately 460 degrees Celsius. Recent calculations and estimates indicate that Kepler 22b has over a 95% chance of being located in the empirical habitable zone, which is based on estimates of when Venus and early Mars may have been habitable. However, according to a 1D cloud-free radiative convective model, there is less than a 5% chance of the planet being located within the conservative habitable zone of the circumstellar habitable zone. Kepler 22b appears to have limitations on the mass of any potential satellites it may have. Through the hunt for exomoons with Kepler HEK projects, it was discovered that the planet does not have any satellites with a mass greater than 0.54 Earth masses. The HEK project involved analyzing Kepler photometry data to search for evidence of transit timing and duration variations that could indicate the presence of an orbiting satellite. However, no such variations were found, leading to the conclusion that Kepler 22b does not have any satellites exceeding the aforementioned mass limit. It has also been predicted that Kepler 22b is a super Earth that is covered by a super ocean. If this is true, this would make the planet quite a habitable one as it has been studied that most life forms originated from water. However, there are others who believe that the planet could be gaseous. Based on the recent computing models, if we are to look at this from a theoretical point of view, having an ocean world with an inclination could be quite habitable. Moreover, the radical tilt of the planet will enable the South and North Poles to alternate bathing in sunlight for half a year each, as the planet circles the star. The Kepler Space Telescope is still quite operational and is constantly examining different areas of the sky, in hopes of making new discoveries. After the discovery of Kepler 22b, this telescope has discovered plenty of other potentially habitable worlds as well. However, the biggest issue that is being faced in this regard is that following up on these other worlds is quite hard due to the massive distance that they are away from us. There is optimism among experts and space enthusiasts regarding the potential contributions of the James Webb Space Telescope and the ground-based European Extremely Large Telescope towards the search for habitable exoplanets. Currently, the habitability of Kepler 22b remains uncertain, and it has been classified as an optimistic sample of a potentially habitable exoplanet in the Habitable Exoplanets catalogue. The real question is whether any humans would be willing to travel the vast distance required to reach the planet and potentially live there. Even if Kepler 22b is habitable, we would need significant advancements in technology to enable faster travel to the planet. Without such advancements, a trip to Kepler 22b would likely take a significant portion of a person's lifetime. Overcoming this obstacle will require substantial progress in the technological field to improve transportation methods. Do you think the Kepler 22b may possess life forms on it or not? If yes, do you think these creatures are quite similar to our human civilization or will they resemble the creatures in a science fiction movie?